So here in this problem, we need to determine the value of the given trigonometric expression. So let us begin. So clearly here we see that in the numerator we have sum of cosine function and in the denominator as well. So here we can apply the transformation formula. So if we add two cosine function, that is going to transform as a product of two cosine function. So let us begin. So first what we'll do, we'll rewrite the numerator. So we have cosine of 3a added to the 2 times cosine of 5a, but we can split it into two parts so that we get cosine of 5a plus cosine of 5a. And then we have the the term cosine of 7a. Let's do the same thing to the denominator as well. So we have cosine of a. We're going to split the middle term. So we get cosine of 3a plus cosine of 3a plus cosine of angle 5a. So let us now add the first two terms, cosine of 3a and cosine of 5a. So we're going to use the formula. So here we will have 2 times cosine of angle 3a plus 5a over so this is going to be the sum of the angles multiplied to cosine of difference of the angle 3a minus 5a over 2. Going to the next sum, cosine of 5a plus cosine of 7a, so we have 2 times cosine of angle 5a plus 7a divided by 2 multiplied to cosine of angle 5a minus 7a divided by 2. Now we're going to the denominator portion. So we have cosine of a added to cosine of 3a. So we get 2 times cosine of angle a plus 3a divided by 2 multiplied to cosine of angle a minus 3a divided by 2 plus 2 times cosine of angle 3a plus 5a divided by 2. So here we are taking the sum between cosine 3 and cosine 5a multiplied to cosine of 3a minus 5a divided by 2. Fine. So this will become equals to 2 times cosine of angle. So 3a plus 5a, that's 8a. 8a over 2 is going to be 4a times cosine of angle. Now here we'll get a negative angle here. So 3a minus 5a, that's 2a. So we'll get negative 2a over 2, which is uh, negative a. So that means we get cosine of angle negative a. But cosine is an even function. So this is going to be equivalent to positive cosine of angle a. We get positive cosine of angle A plus 2 times cosine of angle. So 5A plus 7A, that's going to be 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we get 6A multiplied to cosine of. So this is also going to be negative A. But since cosine is even, we get positive A. Whole divided by 2 times cosine of angle 2A times cosine of angle A plus 2 times cosine of angle 4A times cosine of angle A. So what we can do, we can take 2 times cosine of angle A as the common factor in the numerator. So this will get multiplied to cosine of angle 4A plus cosine of angle 6A. Whole divided by 2 times cosine of angle A. So this will get multiplied to cosine of angle 2A plus cosine of angle 4A. So we can factor out 2 cosine A from the numerator and the denominator. Now, we, again, we have the sum of the cosine function in both the numerator and the denominator. We'll apply to transformation formula. We'll get 2 times cosine of angle 10A over 2 multiplied to cosine of angle 2A over 2, negative 2A over 2. Whole divided by 2 times cosine of angle 6A over 2 multiplied to cosine of angle negative 2A over 2. So here we can factor out 2 and cosine of negative 2a over 2 from the numerator and the denominator and that leaves us with the ratio cosine of 5a to that of cosine of 3a. So this is going to be the final value of a given expression. So hence we have successfully showed that the value of this particular expression is going to be cosine of angle 5a to that of cosine of angle 3a.